we'll see. Hi, this is Judy Gratton, and today we are interviewing Roy DeLeon. He is a local artist in Bothell, and Roy, I'd like to welcome you to Best of Bothell blog, and uh, I really like to thank you for being with us today, and, um, and just wanted to maybe take an opportunity to get to know you and let other people in Bothell get to know a little bit more about you. Uh, I... Um, <clears throat> I would like to share my screen so some people can maybe get an opportunity to, if they haven't already seen some of your work, I know a lot of people have, but I want to see, let me see if I can do this, excuse me folks for, um, well first I have to, hold on, first I have to minimize my screen, I think a little bit, and then we'll go in here and we'll find, there, share that, and we'll go into, I think your Instagram, so here is some of Roy's work that, for instance, this was, I think, yesterday, wasn't it, Roy? Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and yes. if anybody can make voting look beautiful, you did it. <laughs> so, um, and, and what, so first of all, how long have you lived in Bothell? Since, uh, since 1986. Since 1986. Wow, you beat me. So we've been here since 1990. Uh, have you always been in the same house or have you moved around in Bothell or you've always been? Yes, here? still the same house and we get a lot of your postcards. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did not know that Roy and I were actually neighbors for a while. And then I, then I saw one of his paintings and he he had a picture of his garage door and I went, oh my gosh, he's my neighbor. Um, because he has Winnie the Pooh in a mask on his garage door and it's just beautiful. <laughs> so anyway, um, but uh, now what mediums do you work in uh, for the most part? I think, I think I've seen you do, I thought it was just watercolors, but is it, you do all kinds of things, don't you? Right, I, I go all over. Um, ah. I don't, I haven't used uh, oil because it's uh -huh. a little bit too messy to use. But like, for example, this uh, last drawing that I did, mm -hmm. that was done on the iPad. And then uh, on my the iPad. Boating? You did the yeah. voting one on the iPad? Yes. Oh my gosh. And now so see I was in my car, I was in my car looking at that view and drawing it using my iPad. With, so, with a pen or whatever on the iPad? Right, with, uh, with this, uh, what is called uh, an Apple Pencil. Uh-huh. Yes. Wow. So, and then an app, a drawing app. And um, yeah, that's what I did. And, and, but most of the time, I use um, pencils, charcoal, watercolor, um, felt pens. You know, all, all kinds of marking materials. Wow. Now, are you, it, it, has this always been your, have you always been an artist? Did you have another uh, vocation before you studied or you did art or was <clears throat> this a hobby or a little? Yes, um, we started when I was really, really young with my other brother um, uh -huh. and we did drawings for example for the neighborhood and for example we used to do a lot of uh, copies of the beatles <laughs> and sell them and tell them to uh, neighborhood kids for so that i can go uh, rent some comic books uh -huh. to get more inspiration so it's it it rolls all over the place uh -huh. and then i went and studied commercial art um, which is now called graphic design and that was my job with an engineering firm for about 30 years as a graphic designer for them. You were a graphic designer for an engineering firm for 30 years? You'll have to excuse yes. my husband's phone is ringing in the background. Well, what, and was that here in Seattle or? Um, well, their headquarters is in Colorado, uh -huh. but my office was in, um, in Bellevue. It's called, mm -hmm. it was called CH2M Hill. I don't know if you- I know CH, is that what it's called? I always thought it was Chatham Hill. 
that it kind of <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. some people do say that CH2 yes M Hill. so it really is ch2m hill okay yes right. and, and then, then uh, of course they were gobbled up by um, jacob engineering oh okay okay so this yeah. so, so your artwork then was was your av avocation something you did on the side while you did the graphic design full-time and right <clears throat> don't do that I, uh, I retired in 2015 so i'm able to do more sketches and uh -huh. drawings for my own it amazes me how how frequently you draw and how much you do how um you just always seem inspired it seems like everywhere <laughs> you go you're inspired and i find that wonderful I, yeah I, <laughs> well because not like others uh they like gardening i think you like gardening and working on the yard and yeah uh, or or home improvement stuff I, yeah it they don't call me so mm -hmm. mine is more just drawing and making art and mm -hmm. well, that's it's, what uh, it's almost like sustain sustaining me mm -hmm. and you do you walk every day too well not every day especially now that the weather is kind of yeah not crazy, very nice. crazy mm -hmm. but uh, yes i try to do that because i like looking around and what's happening in the neighborhood and mm -hmm. take pictures or if i can i stop and um, do some drawing a little drawing and i i mean you have really you have captured almost all of bothell it seems like this one i love this is the dog park and it kind yes. of tends to move from spot to spot <laughs> oh, awful. and that's just beautiful what you've done there with the <clears throat> work um and and like i said initially and i have no idea how far down the the um the bakery is but you've and and you caught mm. country village when it was still around but you do people yeah. and and you do a beautiful job with people and um i, I just everything yeah. you do is so gorgeous i just i just love it um yeah. And Annie, you and Annie walk together. I know that because you walk by my house. Now, how long have yeah. you been married? Oh, phew, wow. This year is our 46th year. 46? Yes. Very good. Yeah. So hopefully I'm alive when we get uh, 50. <laughs> oh, you will. You, yeah, you just had a birthday, didn't you? I believe. Last September, yeah, September, last month. Yeah so yeah I, I bet you will be i think you will be you guys and you, you just you're so neat together both of you i enjoy watching you walk together you. so and some on some of the drawings like i love the one you did about being the barista with the mocha <laughs> <laughs> yeah for yeah. annie <clears throat> so um so do you have any any plans for any any other projects or do they just come to you on a daily basis just when you're out walking around well i don't know if uh, anyone knows this but i have been illustrating a series of books by paraclip press and it's called the pope's cat um, it's about the adventures of margaret the cat uh, a straight cat and um, she was picked up by the Pope and went to live in the Vatican. <laughs> well, what a lucky cat, huh? So it's, it's really a children's book, of course, uh, six to, I think the target uh, age range is six to 11 or something like that. Uh -huh. So and yeah, we've had, we've had five books in the series. Now, and, um, what is the name of the publishing company? Paraclete. P A R A C L E T E press. C L E Paraclete. Okay. Press. Yes. And, right. and the name of the book, the name of the series is The Pope's Cat. And if you if you search that at Amazon and it will give you like five books already. 
Well, I'm a grandmother now, so I have a little one to buy books for. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I haven't seen her. She's in Virginia, and she's three months old, and until the virus is over, uh, that, that is something I'm not going to be able to do, but, but that's, that's the, uh, they are a gracious that's reader. Her mom is reading to her every day, so the Pope's cat will have to be part of me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, and then I have a new uh, project with with the same publisher. Um, it's about illustrating the animals, animals in the Bible, uh, written by a rabbi for for the publisher. <clears throat> and then I have some personal projects that I would like to work on. Um, I would like to illustrate. Uh, this is very big for me um the life of jesus so it's big so i don't know if i can pull, pull it off but wow uh, from birth uh, through from birth to death and resurrection so th the whole range it's you know the gospel story basically so what uh, how, what do you wear and how big and with what yes. medium and yeah well it's gonna be more pictures instead of words, um, of course. Right. So right now it's in uh, ideation period right now, uh, brainstorming period with myself. Uh -huh. What am I gonna do? How can I do this? And um, my, because I'm 70 and also have had a couple of heart attacks. So I always tell myself, you don't have a lot of time. So. I'm trying to uh, figure out what I can do in the short time that I might just be here um, and still do something that is really, really meaningful for me and, and those who are interested in that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That would be incredible to see. That would just be amazing. Yes. So I must say that <laughs> I can put you do on, on a daily basis. <clears throat> I think brings meaning to a lot of people. I, it does Thank to me. You. It really does. Um, some of the things that that you have to say about your drawings and your paintings and and whatever um, uh, tool that you use. I'm terrible with words, but it just um, they're just so calming, and they they bring a sense of hope. Oh, which that's good to know. We need right now desperately. So, and some of them are are funny, and some of them are sweet, and some of them are just plain beautiful. So, and you just you catch, you know, like there's there was one recently of just a little child running on the corner. I can't remember exactly where that is. Oh it's, yeah. And, and it's just that, that's simple things. My neighbor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I speak French fry. Where did you find that? Relax. I speak French fry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's my friend when I was working. Uh -huh. And she's, she's from Idaho. Uh -huh. Of course, where potatoes come from for potatoes. French fries. <laughs> yes, my husband's from Idaho. He's very familiar okay. with potatoes. So, <laughs> and now, do you have any children? I have two children. Mm -hmm. uh, well, ladies now mm -hmm. and one lives in portland and the other is just 10 minutes away from us oh wonderful yeah that's great so and grandchildren any grandchildren no no, no. not grandchildren no well we just had our first so that was All right. although she had to move to virginia so like mm. i said that that was um has made it a little more difficult but um mm -hmm. Uh, now, hmm. originally, it, your brother is he's is he in this country, or is where where are you from originally? I am from the Philippines. The Philippines. And he is in the Philippines. He is yes yeah. one the brother who I look up to. He, he said he, I am the I am the oldest of seven, wow. and uh, my brother is the third one. But mm -hmm. I, in terms of art and drawing faces is hundred times better than me. Um, so, yeah, but right now he's recovering from a couple of strokes and he's wheelchair bound and 
of course, can't, he can't draw anymore. Not but you say he is long, recovering, long. right? He's recovering, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, and so he's trying to get back there. Or Now look at that portrait of you. That is just incredible. The colors that you pull in that you would never expect to find in a portrait. It just amazes Thanks. me. Thanks. It just amazes yeah. me. <clears throat> Yeah, but all my, my uh, brothers and sisters are mm -hmm. in the Bay Area. Uh, was that where you were raised, in the Bay Area? That's where, that's where the plane landed <laughs> in, in 1972. In 1972, okay. Yes, yes. And so everybody pretty much stayed there and you came up in this direction. Well, that's right, because Annie's uh, brother is here in Briarwood. So, okay. so I, I wanted her to have a chance of being with family because she was with all my family down in the Bay Area mm -hmm. um, in the first um, 10 years of our uh, life together. Mm -hmm. Well, that's neat that you did that. We, we moved quite a bit too, although I had moved so many times growing up, but, but uh, I only have one brother left and he's in California, but mm -hmm. the first time I came up to the Northwest, I fell in love with it and that's where I felt I had to be. So that was in 19, that was in 1979 and oh. here, um, no, that was in 1978 and we moved here in 79 and we moved here in 80 on May 19th and wow. St. Helens <clears throat> flew the night that we drew drove from Portland. And so when we woke up the next morning, um, the Toodle River Bridge had blown because oh. of the mountain. And we would have been stuck in Portland had we not continued to drive. So mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. So I would say we yeah. blew into Washington and stayed. But it's just um so I, so what are some of your favorite things in Bothell? I mean, you draw so much, you see things that people, like the mushroom, look at that. Where did you find that? Is that an edible mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I took, uh, once in a while I go take some online classes just mm -hmm. to see how other people draw something like mushrooms. And mm -hmm. this one was about uh, botanicals. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, you know, it's it's all about for me exploration and discoveries. Um, and for me, if I'm not doing that, then I become stagnant, and uh, mm -hmm. I'll be bored. And who knows what you'll do when you're bored? I don't, <laughs> don't want to find I out. <laughs> I, I I don't see you being bored because you're always finding <laughs> something new. I mean, dancers and. Uh, it just seems like every day you find something new to, to do and something new to look at and, and spirituality seems to be a big part of it. And, and you seem to draw from a lot of different areas in spirituality, um, which I, I like, I find that to be very comforting. So, Thanks. Thanks. um, that's just, just so, so yeah, is there any, this, so this one the one of the the slough, I think when you drew that one, I said to you, because you asked me at the time, you said, well, which one do you want of <laughs> <I've> drawing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, and since then, I've actually put a video up of Bothell, but if there was one drawing to me that symbolizes Bothell, that's it right there, the, that yes. beautiful, beautiful view of the slough. And, and you just captured it so, inc that, and I said to you, when you posted that, I said, that's it. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you understood mm -hmm. what I was talking about, but I, that one is probably one of my favorites in terms of, of views of Bothell and, and what you do with it, so. It's, it's a, yeah, it's a beautiful view. <clears throat> yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. But I think, you know, I think it would be neat to collect some of the ones that you've done of places that no longer exist, like Country Village and things Country like Village, that. Country Village, that's and, right, yeah. And put them all together. They're, they had a, a book. In fact, um, I might bring that up. Uh, the, the, um, 
Landmark Preservation Board might uh -huh. be interested in some of the things that you've done on pieces that are no longer here mm. because I don't know. I mean, I know there's photographs of them, but your work is so much nicer than some of the photographs. So uh, it would be fun to have at least to have them displayed maybe in City Hall or something like that for people to see because I, I was very disappointed that that Country Village went away and there'll be people that never even knew it existed before too long. So I'm, I'm glad that you got that and some of the Main Street shots that, that you got before they went away and the bridge. Uh, we've got a new bridge now, and, but it won't be exactly the <clears throat> same closed, but anyway. And the food, you, you, the food that you cook and things like that, <laughs> you're just everywhere. <laughs> Right. Well, who who um, runs the landmark preservation board? Well, it's um, I would have to get you her name. I'm actually okay. on the board, so um, okay. I get the name of the woman. I, we've only had a couple of meetings because of the COVID uh, mm -hmm. situation. They've been Zoom meetings, so I'm not. Um, I'm drawing blanks on names right now, but I'll, I will get a contact for you and okay. I will bring it up at our next board meeting too, to see if there's something that we can't do to utilize um, some of your artwork, because I think it would be wonderful to have something like that to, to add to a new book of, of historical things about Bothell. So anyway, um, okay. yeah some of the parks and whatnot that, that are here too, <clears throat> drawn pictures. Well, if, if I have one um, wish, yes, I wish, of course, my drawings on this uh, are just around the neighborhood where I can walk to and drive to in a short distance because it's hard for me now to drive longer distances because of my eyes. Mm -hmm. um, so I know that Bothell is way, way larger than the uh, area that I cover in my is sketches. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to get around um, Bothell or I don't know. I, I wish that I am able to go to other places in around Bothell that is uh, yeah, <clears throat> that is my <clears throat> one um, wish about my drawings is that it be comprehensive, covering more of Bothell than, than the downtown area. I will bet that um, you will get people offering you, I know I would be happy to take you anytime I'm going anywhere in Bothell, you're welcome to come with me. Um, and I, I go around quite a bit to different locations, you know, looking at homes and whatnot. I, I don't know if you want to look at homes. <laughs> um, some of the areas are, are that I've been to are quite beautiful. Others are, you know, a little bit different because mm -hmm. um, so much mm -hmm. of it is being developed. But um, but I'd be happy to take you and show you some of the areas that I think are pretty in Bothell. So we'll have to talk about that. But I'll bet you you'll right. get yeah. especially post this. So um, mm -hmm. is there anything? Um, yeah. So so that is something that we could could always talk about. And um, yeah, I just. I think basically we've covered what I wanted to talk about. I just wanted people to know who you were and, and how you came to. So you started drawing as a child then, you and your brother. Just the That's right. in your family were artists? Were your parents artists? Did you? Oh, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> where I was growing up, like in most um, third world countries, your, your neighbors are usually <clears throat> your relatives mm -hmm. you know so my grandpa and aunts and uncles are just the next house over mm -hmm. um, so my one of my uncles 
is really a portrait artist. And I used to just go there and just watch him do it when I was just a pop. And, um, and I think that's where I got it from. And, but most of, almost all my uncles and my dad were musicians. So art, art is in the blood. The creativity the part is in mm -hmm. the blood, yes. And I think, you know, I know my husband is a musician and his grandfather was a musician and his father was, you know, a bit of a musician. And um, I think it does, you know, you pick it up from your surroundings too. Right, so, right, right. So yeah. you, there, it, there you it have rubs it. off. <laughs> it does, it does. You, yeah, you know. yeah. So I think that's wonderful. I think it's wonderful that your family was so close by at all times that you had them there to go and learn from. There's a lot of people That's in, right, right. you know, in the United States don't get that anymore. You know, family is mm -hmm. far away. Mm -hmm. so, right. so, so that's cool. And, and you and your brother <clears throat> both were the ones that were interested in that in your family. Right. And then I found out that one of my brothers who is in the Bay area started drawing and it was like, from zero to 60 in 10 seconds. Oh, really? His, <laughs> in terms of his ability to draw and see, mm -hmm. it's like, uh, wow, it's, it's amazing. You didn't know that, I, I didn't know that he was, uh, that he can draw and uh -huh. then boom. Yeah, so yeah, like it's, you said. It's in the blood. It throbs off. I think yeah. so. <laughs> you know, the interest anyway has to be there, otherwise, it, it's not, you, you're just not, it doesn't stay. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well, right. I, is there anything that you can think of other than, you know, would loving to be able to get around and see more of Bothell that you would like to share with people in Bothell? I think you share a lot in your paintings, like I said, and in the sentiment that you share in those paintings, I, I think it brings people closer together which again, I think we need a lot right now. And I appreciate that very much. Is there anything else um, you would like to know about you or about your work? Yeah, maybe if there's one thing that I would like to share mm -hmm. is why am, I, why am I painting or why, why am I drawing and why am I sharing them on social media? I'm not sharing them to sell anything because I'm not accepting uh, commissions and things like that. I, it, it, it just becomes too stressful for me. Mm -hmm. So a lot of folks have asked me if I accept commissions. Back then, when I was trying to provide food for the family, yeah, I, I, I get everything. I accept everything because it's money. Mm -hmm. uh, but also that's what caused the uh, stroke and the heart attacks is it it's really stressful because basically when you're doing commissions you're de doing it for someone else mm -hmm. it's customer service but when you're doing it for yourself you're a little bit more you know kinder for it to yourself and friendlier and you don't have that um, stress or tension or pressure to finish it or do it in a certain way so it's 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 unconditional basically it's so, strictly from love and from your heart and you don't have to yeah yeah it's it's more for play and enjoyment but lately because i am uh an oblate of saint benedict <clears throat> mm -hmm. and a lot of people ask what oblate is um it's basically if you google that or look at that in dictionary it's me it means an offering you're offering yourself to the uh -huh. service um so in saint benedict's rule <clears throat> of course it is we are asked to um that in all things we glorify the divine one mm -hmm. and so i think uh, that's what i'm trying to do with my um drawings and sketches mm -hmm. is to bring out what is beautiful what is true what is good and 
perhaps maybe one person can be reminded of the divine presence uh, wherever they are. Even, even if they are just shopping at KFC, the, if you really believe that God is everywhere, then you can find God any, anywhere. And that's what I'm trying to do with my drawings, is looking for that presence, that sacred presence anywhere. Mm -hmm. And if I find something that is beautiful, that touches my heart, and, or a good gesture from, from one person to another, um, yeah, or even that scene, um, that voting box, that uh, ballot box. That ballot box means a lot right now to a lot of Right, people. yeah, yeah. And, and so that's why I posted it there, not because, not just because of what's happening, but also because it is an instrument for good. Mm -hmm. And it's a symbol in this country of freedom. It's a of symbol of, of, you know, our freedom of choice, our freedom of, of right. voice. It means a lot. Yeah. And I, yes, I don't yes. think we have thought about that as seriously as we are this year. I don't mm -hmm. care what side of the island you're on. That, that's, oh, yeah. So, yeah, and, and I also taught yoga for about almost 20 years. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and, but I also uh, quit that because I had to drive to the studio in Redmond, and my eyes, like I said, is, is pretty hard. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. yeah. Um, so I'm all over the place in terms of spirituality. I call myself, I am, I label myself. Catholic, but really, I read Buddhist uh, texts and Hindu texts and Sufi Islam texts because I really believe that uh, all we are rooted in love of God and love for one another. And love Boom. for one that's another. That's it, love. Yeah. That's, that's, the root. that's the root of all uh, good things. That's true. Yeah, that's that, so that, that is. is. And wasn't it the Beatles that said, love is all there is? I may be wrong, Jim will, Jim will correct me, musician <laughs> husband, but I'm pretty sure that's Or love is all you need. Yeah, love, love is, is all, all you need. need. Love is all you need. Yeah. Yep, so thank you so much for spending time You're with welcome. me today. And I really hope that I got this recorded right. And um, as soon as I get it all put together, I will um, let you know, and then I'll post it. And okay. uh, in the meantime, next time I go somewhere fun in Bothell, I'm going to reach out to you and see if you want to go with me. Okay? Yeah, well, I'm not sure about the COVID thing. The what? If, if we're going to be in the car together, it's, uh, I, I think I will have to wait until uh, this COVID thing is Oh, the passed. COVID, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I, you know, I forget. I think yeah. <laughs> you get talking and you forget about the COVID and it just, uh, uh, anyway, but we will do it when it's gone. We will yeah, do it. Yeah, or, or if you went to some place where there might be a divine presence, like I was talking about, uh, if you felt that, then take a picture and send it to me. And maybe that I'll just do. order myself. That yeah. I can do. I've done that um, and I can do that. So, and yeah, and anyone who is listening to this or watching this and have that place that is, that means a lot to them, let me know. Okay, send you a picture. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it's just Roy De Leon, both on Facebook and on Instagram, correct? Instagram, that so is right. Yes. You can be found pretty easily and people can enjoy your artwork there where you give it freely. And for that, I am very grateful. So Roy and tell Annie, yeah. thank you for allowing us to take you away from her today. So <laughs> I appreciate that. And um, we'll let you get back to your barista work. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> barista work. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for being with us. Now let me figure out, I have to unshare this. And I think, um, what did I do here? I need to unshare. Are you still there? Or maybe I lost you.
Well, I think that might be it for today. So thanks everyone. And we'll see you soon. Bye.